Hey guys, thanks for watching. We are here in Las Vegas for Canelo Kovalev. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe here to Fino Boxing. And now you can enjoy the video. Hey guys, Adriana Jimenez joined here with Sinisa Estrada, who's fighting for her first world title this Saturday on the Canelo Kovalev. Sinisa, we'll start off with yesterday. Things got heated very quickly <laughs> against Marlene Esparza. Um, talk to me about what just happened at that very moment. You made the first contact. You made the first contact. What was going through your mind when you did that? Yeah, you know, she says a lot on social media, but yesterday we were finally face to face and you know, I don't do much talking on social media, so when she told me face to face that she's gonna F me up on Saturday night, just gave her a little little tap <laughs> to let her know that, you know, this isn't this isn't social media, we're face to face and I'm not gonna let her talk to me like that face to face. What is it that you just don't like about her? Um, I just don't like that she just has a nasty attitude, she has a big ego, and she's just not my kind of person. We have the totally opposite attitudes and totally opposite personalities and uh, yeah like I said I don't think I'll ever like her or get along with her. <laughs> You're coming in stopping your last five opponents what do you have to do on Saturday night to make sure you come up victorious once again? Um, I'm coming into this fight just not expecting it to end early like I'm expecting it to go 10 rounds because that's what I trained for and that's what I trained for in every fight and it just so happened that my last five fights have been uh, stoppages but um, I'm gonna go into this fight just prepared to go 10 rounds and if it ends earlier I'm gonna implement my game plan from round one and you know we'll see how it works and see uh, how long the fight goes. Is it a bit a little difficult saying you know what I want to go in there and and go for 10 rounds but at the same time you have such strong feelings against her that you perhaps want to knock her out? Um, yeah, of course I do, but at the same time, like, you have to be able to c control your emotions in there. And um, I think being able to control our emotions in there is going to be a huge, uh, a huge thing for both of us that night. Something that will be huge will be we becoming world champion. What would that mean for you? Oh, that means so much. It's what I worked for since I was eight years old. It's always a dream, of course. And, um, you know, this fight is big because my They're fights moving forward and after this um, can, can be huge um, financially. And and as far as you know popularity and, and all that it's just it's definitely like a career and life-changing type of fight lastly if everything goes your way you get the victory you become world champion can there ever be peace between you and Marlena Sparsa no never <laughs> Didn't even hesitate. Never, never. <laughs> They're never. You know what? To be fair, I asked her and she said, I'm quoting her, she said, after I win, of course we can be, well, not be friends. She said, she straight out said, you guys are not going to be friends. But she said that you guys could have peace. But you're saying no. No. I'll okay. never, uh, never be at peace with Marlena Sparza, even after I win. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, there you go. You guys cannot miss. This is going to be a great fight. Uh, Sanisa Estrada versus Marlena Sparza. <laughs> Marlene, um, don't miss it on the Canelo Cup left. Thank you so much. I cannot wait for that fight. I can't wait Thank you. The only Esparza I like is Felipe Esparza. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe here to Fino Boxing and follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. And my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports.